here with Mimi from Hello. Luxie Hair. She also has her own channel, Mimi Econ, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Oh, thank you. Um, you guys probably <laughs> I'm know. I'm obsessed this. with your channel. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably know uh, Mimi has moved to London and we've met up before and we decided to meet up again and film a video. We're doing a fun tag today. And what is the name of the tag? Um, it's the personal questions tag. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm finally filming with Mimi. First question is, what do you order at Starbucks? Okay, since I don't really drink much coffee, I usually get their rooibos vanilla chai latte. No, no, no. It's the rooibos vanilla tea, not the chai latte. So, okay. I, tea. I get the chai latte. I love the chai tea latte. It's like my favorite drink. You get it in my there. favorite. You get it in the winter especially, the yeah. also winter time. But during summer I quite like the frappuccinos. Those like chocolate cream frappuccinos and the mm. refreshers that they do that's quite refreshing during the summer. Oh yeah, yeah, the the like the mango they just mix like sparkling water. Yeah, yeah. I love that. What's one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? Okay, you go first. Because <laughs> you can't think of <laughs> one me, right now. Give me one. There's too many, okay? Um I think it'd have to be my leather jacket. Really? Yeah, I wear that all the time. It literally is the best it's like a staple, staple piece. piece. Yeah. Like I can put it on anything, edge it up an outfit during the day or wear it at night time. Mm -hmm. So it's kind and, of it's And in London thing. you can wear it any time of yeah, the year. Because so the like... weather is like perfect for leather jackets over here. So For me it would have to be maybe like a little black dress and I I think a little black dress you can wear it out in the evening and you can also like you know mix it up and wear a cardigan over a blazer and make it like wearable for daytime yeah so probably a little black dress yeah what's one thing that most pe people probably don't know about you you guys don't know about me because all of you watch Shirley's channel so maybe there's oh uh, what's one thing maybe you guys don't know that my real name used to be a completely different name and um, it was Mary so I was born with the name Mary and then yeah and then everyone actually Layla my sister Layla she started calling me Mimi since I was a little girl and then it kind of caught on and everyone started calling me Mimi so when I moved to Canada 11 years ago I was like okay I'm fed up with you know having to explain at school that my name is not Mary it's actually Mimi mm -hmm. so I legally changed it and okay. I've been Mimi ever since that's so cool <laughs> really you're not strange. as public as me <laughs> I'm well, really strange it's time to share okay time to share time to share one of those people who really likes her own kind of company that's I really good. enjoy my own company um that's I would really I would actually much rather sort of stay at home have a glass of wine and watch a movie than go out and party I don't know would um, you say you're an introvert then I'm a bit of an introvert, yeah. so I'm kind of I'm kind of both. I, I think, think you can be both. both. So of like, course. obviously, I like hanging out with people and meeting new yeah. people. But what I really love to do is just spending time with myself to recharge mm -hmm. and just you know I I, I love that. So yeah, I know some Good. people will be like, well, you post a lot of videos and blog posts. You must be an extrovert. But I think I'm a bit of an introvert. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I feel the opposite. I actually recharge when I'm around people. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's when you know they say if you feel recharged when you're alone, you're an introvert. Because mm -hmm. I mean, we're all a mix of both, obviously. Mm -hmm. But it's what recharges you. For me, it's actually mm -hmm. being around people. Oh wow! Like if I'm home the whole day, I'll be like going insane. I need people in my life. Oh so. my god! I'm like Very if I'm outside, I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, that's how Layla is. Wow. What about your sister? My sister's like you. So she it's like always... she recharges when she's around people and I recharge when I'm by myself yeah. and I don't know is it older I find sister? that so fascinating I think things? maybe when you have two children it's always like we're kind of balancing each other out mm -hmm. right? so yeah, it's with always me, it's two sisters so we're yeah. always balancing Same. each other out so. we have so much in common right <laughs> okay next name one thing you want to do before you die I want to fly a plane. <laughs> oh that's uh, that's mine too <laughs> actually <laughs> really? well that's one of mine I have many oh, wow that's great. What's why? What else do you want to do? Um, I really want to learn to swim in deep water. I know it's kind of silly. Most oh people God, know how to that. swim no. in deep water. I know how to swim, but I can't fully let go. And I've made videos about this confession of mine, and I still can't let go when it's like deep water and I can't see the bottom. You know, I freak out and I go back to the shore. <laughs> What's one food you can't live without? Mm, that's a tough one. I like everything. <laughs> One thing I can't live without would have to be kind of weird and random, but artichokes. I really, you really like them. I really like artichokes. Have you have you tried? I've tried them. Have you ever tried roasted artichokes? No. 
they are incredible. In California, it's like a staple food. If you mm -hmm. go in springtime, they serve it in all the restaurants and they serve it with like a aioli mayonnaise. It's like the best thing I've ever tried. I have so. to go to California. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much nice food there. I always see like these programs on the Food Network uh -huh. by so many people and they always they have like creative. really nice, yeah, creative yeah, meals. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to try that. Yeah, that's one that. thing about California I really like. That's good. I what about you? Oh, um, one food I can't live without. Oh, it has to be my mum's cooking. Oh, my mum cooks amazing. I hope your mum watches food. this video. <laughs> if, you watch it, if you watch it, hello, mummy. Um, she cooks amazing food. She's um, part Ghanaian, so she uh -huh. cooks a lot of Ghanaian meals. And what kind of food is that? Like, um, uh -huh. so if you like a lot of chicken, a lot of meat, a lot of soups, a lot of um, this this thing called fufu. Mm -hmm. you heard of fufu? No, I haven't. <laughs> have you guys it's, heard of fufu? <laughs> probably have. It's like made out of um other. Uh, either plantain or uh, uh -huh. these yam things. Uh -huh. No yams. Nice. They yeah, like yeah, grind it yams, and then they yeah. make it into this kind of like like a pudding mixture. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you have it with soups, and uh -huh. it's really nice. My mom makes the best fufu and brown up soup. So the next question is, what chord phrase do you live your life by? I I can go first. Yeah, you, you can. <laughs> okay, so my latest one that I really like and I think I try to live by is um, work hard, play hard, and always, always give unconditionally. Because I think when you give unconditionally, it all comes back. When you give and you kind of hope, oh, I'm going to get it back, like mm -hmm. whether you're helping someone or where you're doing some kind of charity, or whatever it is you may be doing, if you have in the back of your mind, oh, I hope I get something back yeah. from the universe or from people, mm -hmm. it's not coming back. That's but if true. you do it unconditionally, you really just want to give and help, mm -hmm it will definitely definitely come back that's so. a really good that's a really good like kind of ethos to live by mm -hmm. it's one of the things i have in the back of my mind as yeah. well so for mine um this is recently i've been thinking this um for a long time i used to put everyone else before myself mm -hmm. and i used to sort of like be a bit of a people pleaser in yeah essence. many but, um, people are obviously I, I wanted to please my family i want to please my friends mm -hmm. i want to you know make sure i'm doing the best i can yeah. but not until recently I realized that actually I should really be putting myself first when it comes to my life Always, and yeah. then I can help other people because Absolutely. if you can't do the best for you, you can't do the best for other people. I think one of the things I'm definitely living by and I'm going to continue living by is just to make sure that I'm happy with myself mm -hmm. and then that way I'm happy with everything else. And you can actually help others. Help other people, exactly. Absolutely. That's great. That's great. Do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? Um, first like. Should yeah. I start first? You could start. Okay. So I love the fact that there's so many creative people doing so many amazing things mm -hmm. and we can learn so much about each other and there's literally you can go on YouTube and learn how to do anything, anything. about anything. Mm -hmm. Um what I don't like about YouTube is people some people that watch YouTube, you know, tend to criticize and give all kinds of negative feedback when in fact even if the person who is creating this content is not amazing mm -hmm. they're really trying their best to give when i see that it kind of not just when you know i get negative comments but when i see other people get negative comments i kind of feel bad and mm -hmm. i'm like but they're trying their best know. you know you know we have to keep each other you know yeah. we have to sort of support community. each other you yeah really support each yeah other. we have to support and push each other to be better and to do better I exactly that's, that's what youtube is for mm -hmm. We actually shared the exact same thing. So that's one thing I, <laughs> I like. knew you were going to say that. Also, I, that's one thing I like about YouTube. You get to see so many people from so many different cultural backgrounds. Such a beautiful time. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Around the world, you get to learn so many different things. And you get to make new friends. That's exactly. how we met. That's how we met through YouTube. So I think it's amazing that you Thank can you, do YouTube. that. Thank you, YouTube. But um, as far as the dislikes go, I think it's the same thing. When you when people don't really allow people to be their complete creative self, mm -hmm. just because they feel like they need to always constantly criticize mm -hmm. i mean it's okay everyone's entitled to their own opinion if you don't yes. like something that's fine but the people who constantly watch and constantly criticize even when they don't like a person or like the way they do mm -hmm. things i think that's so unnecessary you should it stick is. to the yeah. people that you like yeah watch people the people you support you enjoy, so yeah. um that way you won't really need to feed into any negativity or be negative yourself so mm. yeah. yeah what's your number one most listened song on itunes um, me at the moment, um, I'm loving Daily. Daily, have you heard of Daily? Mm -hmm. He's such an amazing singer. I can play one of his songs. Yeah, for either you, play actually. or sing if you want. Um, <laughs> there's a really nice song called Daily. Uh, Alone Together by um, 
by Daily uh-huh. featuring oh, okay. Mosh and Bruce. Maybe I've heard it. I just don't, I never really know the name of the artist. Like I listen. To it. That's a bit yeah, awesome. That sounds familiar. Okay, silent. You're almost exactly what I need. Nice. For me, it's John Legend, and it's his latest song, "All of Me." I, I love just John love it. I love him so much, and I love the song. And I keep, I was singing it to Alex yesterday. <laughs> Cause all of me. Loves all oh, maybe you love you. you. You know, <laughs> love your imperfections and all, all the song. corners. Yeah, it's he's. I just love John Legend. Number nine. What kind of style would you define yourself as having? Oh, uh, like a fashion style? Yeah, I, I guess. guess so. Um, I I really think of myself as classic with a bit of a with a bit of an edge. Mm-hmm. So I do like classic pieces, but I find them sometimes too boring. So I like to add something edgy, like a statement necklace or. You know, something that has more of a, you know, modern feel to it. Mm-hmm. So, classic with an edge. I like that as well because I'm more I think we have edge. very similar That's style. probably why we really get on. We're very alike. I love classic Naturally. pieces and yeah. I love adding edge to my outfits exactly. as well. Like today like I'm wearing... The shoes you're wearing. Yeah, exactly. Well, they can't see but they'll well, see Well, we'll see it later. Well, we'll show you later. But um, yeah, I love um, the classic pieces, your staple pieces. Mm-hmm. I love the monochrome. You know, Same. palette, black, black and white, white and red and red. Gray. Oh, beautiful. Yes. And then obviously, sometimes I add edge. While we are in autumn, I'm going to be, you know, experimenting more with some edgy mm. pieces. And I'm really looking forward to it. I Me love too. autumn style. Yeah. It's my favorite one, I think. Favorite number? Mine is nine. And why? I think, I think like, it's three. Yes. Because I heard somewhere that God loves three. I don't know. Have you ever really? heard that? No. Uh, number 11, two hobbies. Mm-hmm. You want to go first? I like to take photos. I love taking photos. I like finding really pretty like landscapes and you know photographing them. And obviously I love to, you know, vlog and YouTube. <laughs> it's kind of a hobby. It is a hobby. Well it is. Yeah. Because you spend so much time I'm on doing it. it and I, you love doing it, so Yeah, exactly. For me it's kind of the same because I love taking photographs and it's a bit of an obsession now. <laughs> if you can see my Instagram, oh you'll my know. God. <laughs> I try not to so go nice. over four or five pictures a day because then it's just going to be too overwhelming. <laughs> so taking photographs and I think traveling for me is really important because I think that's really what inspires me and what helps my creativity. So I would love to travel oh, more. Yeah. I'm definitely going to take it up. Like, yeah this coming year. Even like for weekends, you know, just get on a train, especially because like living in London is so incredible. I'm so grateful to be here mm-hmm. because you can just get on a train and go, go to anywhere. like Paris. You can go, that's true. I mean, that's the only place you can take a train, train to, to. Yeah. <laughs> but you can take a plane and two hours or an hour away is like Amsterdam or, you know, Italy, every, like all kinds of places that are so different in culture and I really like that. I'm happy you're here. I can be. Maybe your, we can start, we can start traveling together. Yeah. So I can be your little handbag. You can take and we'll have meetups. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really cool. Yeah, yeah, oh we should totally God. do that. We should do that. For twelve, two pet peeves. I don't like to concentrate on, on negative. negative. Yeah, so I'm I don't like, know. Yeah, I'm like that as well. Do um, I have a pet peeve? I'm pro- I probably do have a few pet peeves. I it's do. because I don't really focus on them. Yeah, it's hard to even think, to of, think it. of it. Oh, one thing that I remember kind of annoyed me is sometimes when people talk, like they kind of do this thing. Oh, then they touch you. Yeah, like, no, I. Th- th- there's oh, a the- soft touch, but sometimes they like kind of like push you in the arm. <laughs> See, now I remember. So, like, instead of like letting it irritate me, I was like, so why? I was kind of like trying to understand why is it irritating? Mm-hmm. And then I kind of let go, and now I don't care. I do have one, and it's when like I go out. She don't like to be rushed, yeah. but um, obviously I try to take a step back, we'll start a little bit, and then <laughs> I get on with it. Yeah. Guilty pleasure. Hmm. Reality TV shows. Is yeah. that my guilty that's, all-time? Oh, that's guilty Layla. Pleasure. Yeah. Wait, so, so which ones do you watch? I, I watched Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I used to see like now that I'm not like me and Layla don't live in the same city. Mm-hmm. We don't watch it. So is I it on again? That. Is YouTube a guilty pleasure? I guess so. Yeah. What do you watch on YouTube that people wouldn't know? That I actually watch. watch random videos. Sometimes I'll just go on and like watch whatever's on there, and then like I just like discovering new people as well. But mm-hmm. is that a guilty pleasure? Would you say? I don't know. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Memory card has just literally run out, so we just decided to say bye on my bye. phone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank we you so talked much so much, but um, yeah, yeah, bye. really enjoyed hanging out with us. We're gonna, we're gonna film. film our outfit of the days, so make sure you check out on my channel. channel.
You'll probably link it down, down below. below. Down below. Cool. Bye. Bye. Oh, there's the warm. <laughs> Go away. Oh, it, what like, freaks me out is like it's falling down from the sky.